Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with another morning view here inside Fish Famous John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. We are getting ready for our 44-hour full moon trip. We've got a five-hour half-day fishing trip going out. We got some private fishing charters, island trips, dolphin tours, sunset cruises, and much, much more going on here inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina today. Looking forward to the weekend. We've got our uh, Fox 13 news segment this morning, live 8.15 a.m. on Fox Channel 13 News. We've got our Real Animals radio show tomorrow morning, live from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., and then Sunday night, we've got our live stream show. That's right. If you want to win some free fishing trips, get a chance to learn a little bit more about nearshore, offshore fishing tips, tricks, and more, or ask questions live during the show, definitely check us out Sunday night. Right now, we're looking forward to some gorgeous weather. It is spectacular weather-wise here today through probably around middle of the week next week then towards the second half of next week wednesday late afternoon into thursday friday we might get the tail end of a little low pressure system that will kind of push down into our area a little bit maybe cause some weather effects so we're kind of watching that one closely as far as the tropics go there's another wave coming off Africa, but it looks like it's going to be kind of staying out in the Atlantic and not bothering our immediate area. Thoughts and prayers go out to the Northeast. It looks like Henry, speaking of tropical systems, Henry looks to be uh, affecting our friends up there in the great white north <laughs> along the northeast coast of the United States. So, Shout out to all you guys up there who aren't used to the hurricanes like we are down here in Florida. Hopefully everybody stays dry and stays safe up there in the Northeast. Also, keep in mind, guys, weather-wise, it is hot, 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 hot out here, which means the fishing is going well. We're catching plenty of fish, but if you're getting out there on the water, make sure you stay hydrated, guys. And that starts the day before. Want to make sure you drink plenty of water the day before, night before, and day of your fishing adventures. You don't want to get out there and get yourself into trouble. It can uh, happen quickly, and you want to make sure you're staying safe and uh, being prepared for a great time out in the water. Also, keep in mind, as far as fishing goes, guys, we've been doing real well out there in deep water for amberjack, triggerfish, some nice red grouper catching some gag grouper scamp grouper plenty of the mangrove snapper yellowtail snapper a few lanes big vermilions near shore mostly gray snapper porgies with a few mangrove snapper more plentiful lanes a couple nice red grouper when you're fishing that deeper near shore stuff the hogfish bites going okay we're seeing some hogfish there around 40 to 60 foot of water and uh, mainly seeing those on our 10-hour all-day. Uh, Five-hour half-days, doing well, but mostly those gray snapper or white grunts right now. And uh, a few porgies. Been occasionally seeing those mahi-mahi, even on the five-hour half-day. So definitely want to keep your eyes peeled for those whenever you're nearshore, offshore fishing. Inshore, lots of snook, redfish, trout, mangrove snapper, few sheep's head, flounder, mackerel all around right now. So all great options for you to enjoy some fishing fun out on the water. Here comes the hub coming in for its private fishing charter this morning. Got lots of options for you here inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Hopefully we'll see you soon inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for our Real Animals radio show. We are now broadcasting those Real Animals radio shows live via our Facebook page. So you can join us at the Hubbard's Marina Facebook page and listen into the radio show tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Or you could check out the Real Animals radio 
uh, or Real Animals Fishing Show Facebook and watch live over their Facebook page as well. So that way, not only can you listen to the radio show, but then you can watch live too. Hopefully, you can join us for our Fox 13 News Report this morning too. See some photos of what we've been catching Sunday night. You'll see photos, you'll hear reports, and you can ask your questions live during the Sunday night live stream show. So lots of ways to catch up this weekend, and hopefully, even better, you get out here and see for yourself what we're catching. So tight lines, y'all. Have a great weekend, and stay hydrated. going to be a, a warm one. We've got a high pressure sitting over us. We're coming up on that full moon, so want to get out there. If you're fishing inshore, get out there early. Fish the early part of the day or fish later in the day around dusk. Those cooler times of day are going to produce more inshore bites. Also, that full moon's going to bring, bring greater tide swings. So when that tide's moving, water's moving, the fish stay cooler and tend to feed better. They're lazy, so the cut dead bait working really well for big snook, big redfish. Uh, they're opportunistic feeders right now. It's hot. Just like you and I, we don't want to go out there at 1, 2, 3 in the afternoon and be super active. You want to hang out in the shade and, and do easy things. Same thing with those bigger snook redfish and even the bigger trout. They're going to be feeding opportunistically when bait presents itself really easily to the place they're kind of hiding out in the lee of the current. So look for those points, pockets, pass areas, and the lee of the current where those fish will stage up and pick off passing baits. You got to think like a fish, guys. <laughs> Y'all have a great Friday. Happy Friday. Hope you enjoyed the sunrise view. And uh, hopefully we'll see you this weekend, guys. Tight lines.